of feed them a little bit of line. There we go. It's right here, right here, right here. Oh yeah, that's what we're looking for. That's what I like right there. Look at that, big river walleyes, middle of summer. How are you gonna beat it right there? All right, all systems go, check, 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 check. What is going on guys? Today we are back with another video. Recently took a little Instagram poll. It said, where do you guys wanna see summer walleye content film? Almost fell over. And we got a lot of requests for river fishing and that's awesome because I absolutely love coming down to a lot of these river systems. So today we're down here on the Mississippi River. It's actually day number two down here. We're fishing a stretch of river, which I have not fished probably in a couple years now. Yesterday came down here very early, put together kind of an awesome pattern. And it kind of dawned on me that a lot of the river content we filmed was on a trolling bite and definitely wanted to showcase some summertime casting stuff. It's early August right now and um, wanted to show kind of some skinny river, a um, lot of current, fishing isolated structures with a spinning rod. And we kind of put together an awesome little one-two punch, filmed a ton of awesome, three different app videos yesterday. One, kind of a deep dive on the piece of structure we're fishing. The second one was kind of a live bait rigging technique that works. And the other one is a casting presentation for aggressive fish that works down here. All those videos we found on the Walleye Now app, hit Let's Go Fishing, hit Summer, hit River, those thumbnails look like this right here. But uh, it's early in the morning, absolutely beautiful day. The bite was good yesterday. Hopefully the bite stays good today. And uh, nothing really changed, same kind of weather. Beautiful morning, light variable winds, high of like 78, 80 degrees. What more can you ask for in August? And a ton of walleyes biting. So um, should be a fun video. We're gonna kind of go into some of the stuff, hopefully catch a whole bunch of fish and uh, enjoy a beautiful day on the river. Now, if you're a Northern clear, water, clear deep lake fisherman, that's absolutely awesome to come down here because it puts you just kind of like out of your element for a little bit and it's always fun kind of putting it together you know up north you know in a lot of our deep clear bodies water right now we're doing a lot of like deep water fishing deep water finesse jigging deep water trolling shallow water dirty water and uh much different it's just a different world and that's always why i absolutely love coming down to this place and i always say you know no matter what stretch of what river you're on whether that's mississippi river pool two pool nine pool five pool four whatever it is they all fish a little bit different, but the same things kind of stay the same. And it's just a different world. And uh, that's what I enjoy about it. Favorite part about my job, coming to new bodies of water, breaking it down and putting together awesome YouTube videos for you guys to watch. So um, stay tuned. We got a little run to make. Hopefully we're gonna catch a bunch of walleyes today. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video and uh, let's get it going on. Cause I cannot wait any longer to catch fish. Had about 20 minutes of camera malfunctions to do we got to this point right now, which is just another day in the life of a YouTube fisherman. So stay tuned. Let's get it going on. Catch a bunch of walleyes today. to start fishing nice little run down river very peaceful and uh today we're going to be fishing a bunch of wing dam like structures and like i said in the intro it's kind of an awesome breakdown of this on the walleye now app but they're essentially man-made structures that come out into the river most of the time they're rock and uh, they're obviously a great fish holding structure and on a lot of these shallower sections of river or shallower river systems they put in a lot of wing dams but we're gonna kind of push up into one here and start casting and kind of our one two our one two punch today like we said is gonna be one casting one live bait rigging and we're gonna fish crankbaits and we're gonna fish like slips slip sliding drifting rigs with the current Got a full crawler on here. Took a couple casts of the crankbait and went right to the finesse rig. Yep, look at that, right there. Number one of the day, we're hooked up, but it's only been like three casts. Feeling walleye-esque. Oh yeah. <laughs> First river walleye of the morning. I'm digging it. He's not a super big one. Well, definitely. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> it's about a 16-incher. 
but uh, that came on the sliding rig. Fishing, bullet weight, short lead, slow death. And it's kind of a cool way you can fish a lot of these isolated targets with live bait. The important part is obviously matching the weight to the current. And I did probably like a 10 minute breakdown on kind of exactly how you want to do this and position your boat on the app. Here's a good bite. Fish on, right there. Feeling right, feeling right. Come here, buddy. Feels like a nice fish for sure. Feels like a nice walleye for sure, I'd say. Oh yeah, real nice walleye here. <laughs> well, there we go. Couple fish now on the old dragon rig. I got way too much line out to net this fish. There we go. This is what we're after right here. Summertime river walleyes way up in shallow water. We're sitting in about five feet right now, casting a little current seam with some hard bottom. Look at that beautiful walleye right there. And these rivers, as I've traveled and fished over the years, are surprisingly loaded with walleyes. You know, some of the sections might be all industrial looking and whatnot, and you know, it might not seem like they have a lot of fish in them, but there's a lot of walleyes in these systems. And the Mississippi River is grade A walleye fishing, at least, you know, pretty much every pool I've ever fished. And there we go. That was, I guess, the first official one in the boat, still very early in the morning. There's a good bite. Got him. It's feeling like a really nice fish. It's feeling like a really nice fish. And I don't think we're gonna put in all the sheep's head and other stuff I'm catching today. But a lot of times you can tell, you know, when you get bites where it's like not a walleye, probably a sheep's head or something, when you get just a good kind of bite, walleye. And this is gonna be a nice walleye for sure. Let me just take a look at you, buddy. Ooh. Oh yeah, real nice one, real nice fish. <laughs> oh, I absolutely love it, absolutely love it. Come here, buddy, we're just gonna scoop you up real quick and these fish fight so hard down here. There we go, got him. That's the way we like to get the morning going. A few walleyes right off the bat, haven't been fishing for long at all. It seems like, you know, I have been taking a few casts with the crank. Early in the morning, this kind of live bait rigging type of pattern seems to kind of be a little more productive so far. Slow death hook right in the top of the mouth, you know, popped off. Look at that. Beautiful river while I start the day. I like it. It's a fun, fun, fun pattern to fish. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's get you back in the water, buddy. Back in the water. We got 79 degree water. <laughs> so it's a little warm, but obviously the fish are biting and obviously we're we're sitting in, right in front of them here. Fish on. What do we got? What do we got? Feeling right. Feeling right. Oh yeah. Another nice walleye here. We'll go ahead and just flip them on in. All these fish are so healthy down here. Whether they're 23 inch, 24 inches long or 15 inches long. I feel like they're all these perky little stocky guys. And there's just kind of your classic eater size you know 15 16 incher one of the impressive things is always that you know you're fishing around large populations of people 
which large populations of people and good walleye fishing are not normally things that go together. But obviously these rivers are just filthy with fish. Might have a bite. There's a ginormous train going by. Yep, fish on. Right there. <laughs> Down on the river, the trains are always going by. Feeling right, feeling right. I'm not, I don't know how many of the sheep's head or other stuff are gonna make this video. Oh yeah, nice walleye, nice walleye. <laughs> The one-two punch of a little bit of crankbait fishing, a little bit of live bait rigging. Pretty simple program, really. One gets the aggressive ones, the other one gets those little bit more lethargic ones. Slow death, crawler, weight, drag it in, around, and over wing dams. I don't know if I'll put in all the break-offs I've had from having to retie, but when you're fishing wing dams, especially good wing dams, getting snagged is, means you're in the right spot. If you're not getting snagged on it, see you later, buddy. Man, just the fish in here. Unbelievable how healthy this fishery is. Ooh, ooh. Thought I was stuck for a second. Fish on. Feeling good, feeling good. Feeling real good. Come on, girl. Man, they just go absolutely nuts in the current. Oh yeah, another nice fish. So many of these, you know, I'd say 16 to 19 inch fish, but we'll take every one of them. You know, I feel like summer a lot of times, river, the rivers don't get enough love. I feel like everybody's up north on lakes and stuff like that. It turns out there's phenomenal fishing to be had, even on the local river systems. And I did something which I've almost, I don't think ever done before <laughs> this week in the last video, which is where we actually walleye fished from shore and caught fish on a tiny river. So they are 100% in the rivers and it's a great angling opportunity outside of driving a long ways to go up to kind of, you know, what a lot of a lot of people think it's probably like the premier walleye destinations, you know. Oh, there's a bite. Just gonna feed him a little bit of line. There we go. And a lot of times when you get a wing dam that's got fish, you'll see this where you go like two, three casts in a row. This feels even better than the last one. Just gonna take our time in the current here. 100% gonna be a big walleye. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's angry. He's angry. My back GoPro keeps turning off because of the heat. But here we go. Come on. Just got to go easy on them. They have a tendency to just go absolutely ballistic in the current. And fishing a light wire hook like we are, you just want to keep the rod loaded, keep the drag moderately loose. Come on, buddy, come on. It's right here, right here, right here. Oh yeah, that's what we're looking for. <laughs> There's a little better fish. We've only caught a couple kind of this size. We'll take those. We will absolutely take those. Still angry. He's already off in the net. That's what I like right there. Look at that, big river walleyes. Middle of summer, how are you gonna beat it right there? Wow, is that a good looking fish? Look at that guy on that sliding kind of worm system. I'll take it. 
absolutely take it. See you later, girl. Get back in that muddy river water. Well, just realized we had a mic die through about six fish catches, which sucks, always sucks, but uh, whatever. To catch you guys up to speed, I have caught more fish, and since then I've started catching some fish on crankbaits, which is always a good thing. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that little fast forward and edited cheesy, here's a few fish, but uh, yeah, I think we're just gonna keep chucking the crankbait going wing dam to wing dam, because it seems to be working. Fish on, boys, right there. On the blade bait. <laughs> oh, it's another nice walleye here. Another nice walleye. You know, it wouldn't be river fishing if you didn't get one on the Acme V-Rod. And if you guys haven't watched this channel in the spring before, spring or fall, because that's most time we're throwing V-Rods, you are gonna wanna load, if you're a river fisherman especially, you're gonna wanna load up on this bait because it is just one of those baits that is, I mean, we'll catch some fish on it today if we throw it enough, probably. Here's obviously a fish right here. But uh, it is a bait that has just, it's like, I always describe it as I feel naked when I don't have it and I'm on a river system because it is just like such a staple. And it's just a phenomenal blade bait in general. Let's see if I can get this guy off here. He's got that middle hook, just all sorts of, all sorts of stuck to his face here. There we go, not big. Eater size, you know, whoa, whoa, whoa. Get back in the water, buddy. He's angry, he's angry. But the V-Rod, absolute destroyer for some reason in these river systems. You can pitch them on wing dams like this. You know, a lot of times in the spring and fall, we might be fishing them vertical when the water's real cold in some of the deeper portions of the river. Two favorite colors for sure, whatever this color is called. And uh, one's called Maverick, it's like an orange one, cod hundreds of river walleyes on these two presentations. And all I'm doing right now is just kind of, you know, looking at the live to see where the wing dam is or side imaging and just kind of varying your cast length and I'm just letting it kind of swing up over that that crown. Down to bottom, pop it up, let it hit bottom. Good little bait to mix in with the live bait and the crank baits. You, can, you don't want to like cast this a mile because you're going to end up getting snagged a lot. Like if you throw this way up on top right now in the shallower water, but for just kind of doing, and this is all you're doing. You know, you kind of fish it till it kind of gets right back behind you. Reel it in and make the same cast or a little bit closer or a little bit farther and kind of replicate that drift over and over. Oh, that's a good bite. What is it though? Got all squirrely right off the bat. I don't like that too much. It is a walleye. That's <laughs> kind of the perfect example of changing your casting angle to catch fish. You know, whenever you're fishing current like this, that's why he's fighting so hard. He's hooked in the cheek. Now, a lot of times when you're fishing current, especially a bait that's drifting, like I'm fishing this worm, your casting angle will make all the difference in the world. And a lot of times, if you're straight parallel to like a wing dam, let's say, your bait's going through that zone really fast. We're just getting 10 feet more in front of it when you can kind of play that current at a much slower rate. A lot of times it's enough to get bit. Because these fish don't like a lot of times a piece of live bait just, I mean, you can imagine going straight sideways the current, the bait just, just streaking through the zone. Then you go a little bit more like quartering backwards. I mean, as you pull that thing up like this, pull it forward and hang it high, it's got this much slower kind of wagging in the current right in front of their face. So a lot of times all you gotta do, change the angle you're casting at to catch fish. Ooh. Wow, he ran way up at me. Whenever you're fishing this sliding rig, you wanna do a lot of reeling. Oh yeah, nice walleye, nice walleye. Not big though. 
not a super big one. Our last one was definitely bigger, but there we go. There's another one. Boom. Another river walleye in the boat. I gotta do it though. I gotta do the sales pitch because I've thoroughly liked it so much. Contour Fishing Clothing Co. got a whole bunch of new hats. Shelby's been busy shipping them, but I know we still have, whenever I do a YouTube video on them, it's like we'll get blasted with it, just a ton of orders. And then we'll sit on like the remainder for a little while until I do the next video. But that one right there, it's my absolute favorite hat. We actually changed to a different hat company and I've absolutely loved it. They kind of fit just like, like the Richardson hats, if you guys love those kind of hats. And they're super comfortable and Shelby wanted them because you could also wear them in a deer stand. Once bow season starts here in a week or a couple weeks, but um, get online. I'll always link at the bottom of every single video if you guys want to check it out. But uh, it's linked right there. Find them. I know we still have some stock in them and uh, keep Shelby busy shipping. Well, there's not really more to say, really, I would say. Caught an absolute pile of fish down here on the Mississippi River. The main point of coming down here was to get a whole bunch of app stuff that was different from other stuff and it dawned on me like i said in the intro where i was like i can't believe every time we go to the river this year like we've been trolling so it was good to come down here and show this other stuff rivers are so diverse and that's one big thing we see all the time you can go to three different rivers and they all fish a little bit different one can be really deep and clear the other one can be really shallow and muddy like this the other one can have a very little current you know there's just a hundred different variables on rivers so we like kind of sampling a few different ones and the beautiful thing about mississippi a lot of you guys always request we come here and there's like a million different pools so we're farther north than we've been in the past where you can go farther south and you can have a different fishing experience and the water changes a little bit but you know traveling around and doing this like we did over the last several months. Hopefully you guys kind of got a good feeler on a lot of the different river fishing situations. And like I said, put three new videos on the Walleye Now app. One on kind of our all the specifics on the slider weight, worm deal, the other one on crankbaits, the other one on setting up on wing dams. If I put them all in this video, it'd be a 45 minute video. But hopefully you guys kind of enjoyed this. We're gonna pick the boat up a little bit because it's an absolute disaster from rifling through stuff at this point. Get back in the truck and head on home and then go somewhere else tomorrow. But hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this. Drop some comments down below and where you guys want to see us go fish next and uh looking forward to doing it but i appreciate you guys watching this if you guys are not already subscribed please do that stay tuned for the next one we'll see you down the road